Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I see about 400 people live on Go Live. Really happy to see that. And already the first 20 on Trading View. And Trading View could hear us right now, should be able to hear us right now. Guys, we are streaming for two weeks on TradingView, those morning sessions as well. Uh, I hope that you guys are, uh, um, are telling others because people can see what kind of morning sessions we do here together on Go Live, taking a sneak peek on TradingView for the first two weeks when, uh, trading, when uh, the, 
<laughs> when infinity on pivots is life. So guys, this week and next week are the two free weeks to use the infinity tool yourself. And yesterday we asked how much people are using the infinity tool this week already to make some profits. And I'm really, really happy to uh, hear from you guys uh, that that is going pretty, pretty well. Uh, I'm just in a little setup stage because I worked from home this morning from 6 to 8 and um, I basically found my computer offline this morning which should not happen um, so I'm, I'm basically figuring out uh, to get everything working again my meta traders were off <laughs> my bots were off everything was off um, but infinity is working that's the nice thing uh, pivots.im slash infinity uh, we got a major update this morning uh, from the tech team cheers guys some coffee morning very very important um, I know on um, um, on uh, on trading view you can't see me yet <laughs> but uh, uh, basically, we are going to trade some live trades with the Infinity tool. Um, I have slept incredibly well. I was awake early morning and I'm really, really re ready to go. So let's see. We got major update on Infinity, uh, which means that all the little things that you guys have been telling me on the Infinity Traders Facebook group uh, were, uh, were fixed or are fixed. And I'm really happy to see that. Uh, and I'm really happy to see you guys. Let me know where you're calling in from. Let me know where you guys are calling in from. I see Breskens, the Netherlands, south of the Netherlands, nice at sea. A little bit cloudy there, I heard. Rainy, the Netherlands, says Martin. I'm sorry, guys, I'm just in a good mood. Uh, I, I woke up, I saw the sunshine, I was like, okay, hey, we can dress summer style, not too hot with the big vest. By the way, this brand is Dutch Dandy, <laughs> but I like to call it Dutch Daddy. Not that I care about brands at all, but I like when it's local and when someone put all his heart and soul into making something nice. That's why I mentioned it. Because as you guys know, I don't really <laughs> carry uh, that much uh, weight of uh, looks and feels and I, I, don't, I really don't care. I really don't care. So a few things that were solved, uh, just to be open and honest with you guys, there were some pairs on the one hour and four, four to be uh, precise, that did not have the major line. A uh, simple reason for that was that uh, FXCM is the new broker used for the pivot scanner. Really happy with that, uh, but um, uh, but they they only switched to FXCM uh, yesterday. So basically, that means that um, uh, that means that we did not have all the history to create this high-level line because you guys know we have an, in, uh, an uh, entry line, a minor trend, and a major trend line. And the major trend line here is generated on the next time frame. So uh, the GBP JPY one hour is an example that did not have this line. It's a line that looks to the four hours. And the four hours uh, looks like uh, a long time in the past. I feel a sneeze coming up. So basically, you need quite some data to look that far in the past uh, to create this this very nice line. So uh, when they when they uh, asked FXCM uh, to to give all the data from the past as well, um, it solved the issue, and I'm really really happy that it's all solved. That we are all good to go. Uh, we are going to get H4 and daily today as well. We already have all the other options next to forex. We already have gold and silver. We already have UK oil and US oil. Really happy to hear that as well. Guys, uh, give me one second. I'm going to find a tissue because I'm going to sneeze soon.
Uh, Alright guys, we are back. Um, basically so yeah so that that's was what I was explaining sorry guys I just I'm a little bit itchy nose um, so yeah I'm, I'm really happy that this UK oil US oil that's where we were we also have cryptocurrency so all the major cryptocurrency against the dollar are here uh, let me double check because it should ah there were some also some questions because FXCM was not having all the crypto, um, which is logical because they are a really strong liquidity partner in the financial world, and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, big companies are using FXCM. Your your, if you have a small broker, they might even use FXCM. Um, that doesn't mean that the price is exactly the same because they are doing their markups, they are doing their spreads, they are doing their own settings, right? So um, you need a broker or I suggest to find a broker where the ECN is ha having absolutely no markup. And to be really honest, the only way of finding a broker like that is to find a broker, uh, and I don't mean this as a racism at all, but if you find a broker where the mother company or the owners or uh, the company itself is localized in the Middle East, and the reason I'm saying that is because in the Middle East, you guys maybe heard of uh, 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 accounts that have no swap. And this is, uh, uh, sometimes it's called a Muslim account, something, sometimes they call it a little bit different. But it basically means that the broker, by uh, law of their uh, religion, cannot make money of a customer other than what's very clearly stated like a fixed commission and uh, I think that is uh, that is amazing so I've been going last uh, last year to the Forex uh, world exhibition in Dubai and I've met brokers there international brokers and also liquidity partners and also local brokers and I've been speaking with a local professional broker in Abu Dhabi I moved my professional funds there uh, and they just have started the their retail brokerage, which was in the making for a few months uh, because of the whole Corona stuff took a little while. And that broker is where I moved my retail funds to. Now, I'm not telling you guys you need to go there. I'm not saying that I'm recommending anyone. I'm just saying where I'm having my funds. So my big funds are in Finnois Capital, which where you need to bring at least half a million guys. So half a million, one million in assets, two years of trading experience. I know that for most of the people in here, it's not something that, that you directly have. It's not in your ability to directly do. But they started their retail broker called Kumo Markets. And I moved there uh, uh, in the last weeks of May, at uh, the start of June. And um, for their ECN account, there's absolutely no markup. So the, the, the rate they get from the bank is exactly the rate you get. I've seen spreads less than a pip. And uh, I think that that's great. Um, um, and you, the other se things. The second thing is that you know that they will not play with your price. So they are not allowed to do anything like stop loss hunting. They are not allowed to make any spikes at midnight. They are not allowed to add any spread at any certain point of time unless the banks they're 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 providing feeds are giving them those spreads as well so i don't say that you have no gaps on sunday anymore because there's just gaps on sunday in the market but um you know at least that the gap is honest and not that it's the gap of sunday plus 20 pips which is what other brokers do right they need to find a way of making more money like they they try to uh, to make you uh lose a bit now i don't really like the the passive way or the negative way of trading so i'm not talking about people that are bigger trying to steal your money they want the retailers to lose i think it brings you on the wrong mindset when people talk about this um, because you should be positive you should not be thinking all the time those big banks are making us retailers lose blah 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 some people are living in fear and that's definitely not something you want to do so yeah uh, I'm just telling you guys what I have done, uh, where my plans are going, and um, 
yeah, uh, I, I think this is, uh, I, th I think it's very, very important to do your research, but find yourself something that works. Find yourself something that works. All right, in the meantime, uh, I am going over the market, uh, looking in a lot of uh, trades that are actually uh, starting to move to the other trend. So here you see an uptrend for AUD JPY for days in a row. I need to zoom out and find that the start of that moment, but basically, uh, look how far I need to go back. So uh, somewhere half of May, even before, this major line is green even before. So I can go back very far to see where this uptrend actually started. Maybe it was even start of May, but the whole point is, Um, so basically uh, what we see here is that this was an uptrend, 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 uptrend and now we have no no arrows so I know that for the first week for people trying infinity some pairs are really really difficult right now I completely understand that uh, if you are trying infinity last week look at this it was like you guys would have been ec ecstatic every day like oh my god look at me seeing like taking a buy and making 240 pips i've seen people last week guys in the beta program having 400 pips a day like i'm not joking I, i've seen the results i've seen their screenshots and um, and their real accounts or people that i've been working with for such a long time so last week was absolutely a killer week this week and we're talking about thursday wednesday tuesday and monday Monday was still possible to make a couple of trades, but if you were late, you maybe already catch the pullback. And um, it did not fully came back to those levels yet. And now you see that in this case, the price has been rejecting the major line, coming up, coming down through the major line, breaking the major line. Now, what I said in one of the Infinity Group posts is that when people asked, what's the secret entry? So. What I call a secret entry is that you have a red entry line, a red major, uh, red minor line. So that means that on 15 minutes we are basically already in a downtrend, but on the one hour, the next time frame, uh, we were not yet in a in a downtrend. Uh, so that means that this price is stable and should be working from home. Okay, so what I mostly see is the secret entry is basically you see a resistance here when it breaks you can basically go and start selling. But what I also see a lot is that now it resists a bit, it will come back to that level one more time and then it needs to actually tell us that we are on the other side. So this is still green. And why is it still green? It will be green for a while, it will even start to point downwards. And then when it starts to point downwards, we will really turn into a downtrend also on the hour. And that flip of green to red, that would be when all the other people are moving in. That's why we call this a secret entry. Now, when this entry here, when it's resisting here and it starts to move down, I would wait for the R6 to break. And that would be my first sell. Here would be my first sell. Here would I would be like, okay, let's let's go deep, right? Let's go all the way here. This this is gonna be. Uh, it doesn't even calculate it for me. Is that two thousand pips? You're kidding me. That's a 2,000 pips move, guys. 
not 200 that's a 2000 pips move so basically i don't say that that move will happen in one day right here it took for for this hole right up it took like <laughs> just two days actually uh but that should be 200 pips no let me double check this guys uh no it's 200 it's 200 it's a little bit confusing sometimes because um, the, the you can uh, read those numbers differently. But basically, you can also talk in percentages, right? This is a 4% move, and here we in total have a over 6% move in one time of the price change. So that's, that's also really, really nice. But basically, this is going to be a big move. So from here, we are just going down, uh, and we are going to take the first 30 pips. That, that's like what I'm waiting for and I'm, I might give you guys a, um, a, a sell stop but the point is by putting in the sell stop right now if you put in the sell stop oh, if you put in the sell stop right now here the price is so close to that sell stop that it might break right now and already goes down now maybe that's a good thing uh, if you want to put a sell stop right now I would definitely go under uh, under the daily low, under today's low. Um, but if you would wait a bit for this market to go and retest the major trend line one more time, then after that, the uh, it's a really, really fair point to put your pending order just under R6. That's the moment that you can start. And then basically it's 30 pips, 60 pips, another 60 to S2, that's 120 pips, and then another 60 to S0, so it will be about 180 to 200 pips. So that's that's when the trend is changing. This is like the procedure for the market to change the trend. Now, during this time, it's very hard to do any trade. You will see no arrows, you still see green lines while you know the market is turning into a downtrend. Do you want to sell already? I personally don't. I personally go and look to other pairs and see if um, if I want to go into other pairs. I'm personally looking for trades that are more ready and um, yeah some of them are and some of them are, are not. So uh, and I, I saw this week that a lot of pairs are having this kind of behavior which is very difficult to trade. So if you Already, guys, I, I want to ask it one more time. Let, let me first see who's who's all here, because we've been running over this. Good morning to a lot of people. Uh, I see Slovenia is in the house. Uh, some people are asking, do you have any tips for a newbie like me? So I think for newbies, I think it would be great to have some 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 first entries purely based on your buys or on the sell arrows and, and monitor them, do them on a demo and see how you're going. Then, um, someone is saying, I've counter traded it like five times already. You probably talk about CHF JPY if you guys are still in there. <laughs> As the only trade that's still open, right? Do we have a trade from yesterday open? Because I saw pretty a lot of profits coming in. Let me check that. I didn't, I, I, I'm awake for so long, but I did not see that. Let me check, guys. All trades yesterday have hit take profit. Uh, USD, AUD, USD hit take profit one, moved stop loss to break even, went to for take profit two, went to break even. All the other ones take profit one and take profit two if there was a take profit two. Um, uh, and that means only blue numbers yesterday. And I'm really, really happy to see that. I'm really happy to see that. Which means that if you had any losses on CHF JPY, um, if you look over the full week, if you look over the full week, I'm I'm in profit. Now I can't say how much you guys know the compliance rules, but I'm in profit um, trading the normal lot size management as I said. While my USD CHF yesterday was actually uh, pretty small, I traded less than uh, I had. I don't know why. Probably a typo from my side, but I traded uh, 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 like a fifth of what I normally should trade. Uh, but sometimes I'm switching accounts, so maybe that was a little mistake. Um, but basically all the other pairs, I've been trading around the same lot size, increasing my lot size while I was working on it, and, and that's it. So, yeah. 
we have another profitable week or or at least honestly I have after the trades that we have been doing together uh, we've been doing uh, maybe just one or two extra trading days uh, trading moments with other t with like team trades um, guys we are going to do that so much I've seen a lot of you reach out on Instagram we are going to try to make that work today to make sure that you guys are uh, taken care of we are going to take care of individual um, uh, sessions where the, we are having about a hundred individuals uh, for infinity and we are going to have uh, group calls where that's organized by you as a leader of your group or uh, a leader from your group but we want no one to to fall out of line so we, we in the first place i want to ask you if you have a group of over 30 people interested in a call please message me on instagram and we are going to organize a call i'm going to give you the phone number of claudia and uh, claudia is gonna organize all those calls with groups then next to that if you do not have a group ask the the leader of your group to say like hey please reach out to boss and make sure that uh, we are getting a group call with him so the leaders will also get more notifications from you guys saying i want calls uh, so because i rather do it like this um, uh, and of course then at the end if, if those people are not responding and you still feel that you are not in any group calls we are going to organize a couple of individual calls where just a group of people trading by themselves uh, can jump on because we want to leave no one behind so that's very very important uh, guys I see people from everywhere in the world here I'm really really happy to see that we are live with about 900 people from Louisiana, California, Canada, Somalia, Switzerland, like everyone, like I'm so happy to see this guys. I'm going to scroll to the bottom because I want to, um, I want to see if there's any questions before I'm going to run through the market and see which pairs are ready to make a move because this kind of pairs are, are ready to make a move today. I don't say I'm ready to make a move right now, but might maybe during the New York session, and I'm gonna check my calendar. I know I have a Zoom call with Matt McCallan's group in the UK later today. I'm going to have a Zoom call with Rolf's group from the Netherlands, and I'm going to have a, gr a group call with Jean, and I think, but I need to double check, uh, Jean is I think from Canada I'm not 100% sure could also be UK um, so basically I have already three team calls and what I'm gonna do is that when I have calls with those teams that are having trade setups I'm going to publish them on pip talk and I'm going to publish them on trading view guys so please please make sure that you guys are connected on trading view and I need to give you guys the link for this. Um, this is my pip talk. And the reason I've not been doing a lot of trades with pip talk uh, before. Um, mostly it was just announcing sessions, right? Very honest with you guys. But when we uh, move to you guys being able to check the infinity tool, to be able to check my trades, I'm going to share a lot. Because my, my goal is to share and then you are going to check. And then if you agree on the, on the trade, then you're going to, to take the trade, right? You can just copy paste and demo, but I don't want you to create that habit of just copy pasting trades in a real account and just fingers crossed that bus is right, right? I don't think that's a smart thing. And exactly the same is for TradingView. I'm going to put my trades on TradingView as well. So you guys can follow uh, me there because you also get notification. Gene from Canada, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gene from Canada. So uh, basically, um, uh, b basically I'm, I'm really happy to 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 see you guys uh, winning from there so um, to 
get trade applications of ideas. So alerts get sent on the two links I send above. You can also do my messages only. Then you see your own messages and the messages from the educator. Uh, so if you click on that, you will see my messages uh, without all the other ones. So I'm really, really, really happy. Someone put the B movie script. Is there a way of blocking people in the chat? Yeah, I can I can block people in the chat. I just don't know uh, who's spamming guys because we got so much messages. Please just put just put one uh, Okay. AQ Fever. Where can we find the infinity tool? You can find the infinity tool on pivots.im slash infinity. I don't think I can share this link. So it's I'm gonna do pivots.im slash infinity. Pivots dot I am slash infinity. That's what it is. That's what it is, guys. Someone says I took DSL for USD cut and took the SL. Yeah, that can happen, guy. That can happen if you choose daily stop loss it can happen and after that it hit like one take profit one and two which means it was just a pullback um, but the daily stop losses i made them because some people just like to intraday trade so they will have winning trades they have losing trades but all on the same day which creates you a good day or a bad day but they they don't mind the bad trades so much the bad days because you have more good days than bad days. Now, if you, in the end of the week or at the end of the month, don't have enough profits, you might need to understand that 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 swing trading or keeping the trade overnight that that might work better for you, and you might want to try it out. Guys, again, try things out on demo because everything yesterday took take profit. All trades hit take profit. If you took trend stop loss. If you took trend stop loss, I can only speak about trend stop loss because that's the one I'm using, not the small one. Uh, okay, the real done me. I am unfortunately going to block you because you made a message a uh, hundred times, and that is not nice for the group. And Aquifer. I don't know if you mean it well or not. You are also blocked from now. You guys can still come to the session. Pound sterling. So all trades did not take profit. Guys, I would love to just show my MetaTrader to you right now. Um, because it did. Um, Yeah, guys, if you click on my messages only, you only see your own chats and you see the chats from me. So that 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 might uh, solve your solution. So
so so it, it should be all blue but if it did not uh, all went into profit for you then uh, I hope the trades of today do uh, and it's good to to announce what I uh, like to sorry to analyze what uh, maybe went wrong for you um, um, I think it would be very good to 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 find out right it might be very good to find out Just go back and and uh, analyze your entry, analyze your 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 exit, guys. The uh, <laughs> send a deal. Some of you guys just want new trades. So basically, guys, uh, Infinity videos uh, will come when we have four hour and daily. So I'm waiting for that last update, and when the four hour and daily are here, we are having the last videos as well because we have videos for short term trading, intraday trading, 15 minutes, what we do in the morning, with sometimes some patience to let them hit take profit, one hour swing trading, and four hour swing trading. Daily is more position trading. I will do a video about that as well, but it might not come out today because I know that not so much people. Are, are doing uh, someone else saying I would love to see your MetaTrader 2 boss lol yeah guys uh, the reason I would love to show you is not to to show but it's to prove uh, but you guys know from compliance team that those things are not allowed so um, we can skip to the next topic I'm going to run to the market as promised we have 20 minutes to go and uh, we are already on GBP uh, NZD I'm just gonna move down through the whole list uh, there was one trade that did not hit take profit too guys but I already mentioned that I already mentioned that Gene confirms me he is Canadian I'm so happy that we have a call with him we had a call I think last night or the night before I, I, I lost I lost track it was 4 a.m. for me uh, we had a call with the Canadian team of James um, so you see we are we are talking to to leaders to make sure that you guys get all information that you need that is the most important um, someone said because bus because you mentioned trade were not crossed, crossed out because New York open we wanted to close trades and took losses. That's for London Daybreak rules, guys. That's London Daybreak only. And I might, um, I might drop the London Daybreak strategy uh, because the London Daybreak strategy is really a strategy. It's not that I'm dropping it as uh, dropping never look at it again, uh, but maybe stop teaching because I see this happens more often that people take a pending order rule for the London Daybreak GBP trades and then at the start of New York start closing infinity trades which is not the rule for infinity so it's two different strategies with different rules um, it doesn't mean I can't drop the London Daybreak I might just need to drop the sessions about the London Daybreak I can still share the trades on pip talk and trading view and I can um, uh, how you say and I can uh, still make two videos because I have a Dutch video about London Daybreak and an English video about London Daybreak on my YouTube channel and it's it's free for everybody to watch just just check out the strategy and see if it's something that works for you so that is my point someone asked something about GBP CHF so I'm going very quickly back to that level to see if I, I just analyze very quickly and it might help people to understand so GBP CHF crossed the major line you see here it bounced a few times and then it started to from the bottom it came to the top it had some wicks to the to the top and after that it just started falling this is the moment I would start selling and this is 72 pips down already guys you can't be in the buy anymore your 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 stop loss um, by by having the price fairly crossed the major line you need to be out here you need to make some executive decisions not to just hope for the best this is definitely uh, a sell right now and if this m m minor trend line is going to cross the major trend line and the, and this line is already pointing downwards as you can see if i put the mouse on here you see that it's it's curving down 
it's gonna be red and it's gonna be a downtrend and maybe after that it will come up maybe in two months it will be back at your entry uh, i wouldn't wait for that Th this is a moment to say like i am out and i'm going to maybe already sell the 72 pips you will be able to already make money back so so that's here but i'm not selling myself right now because we are in the bottom so you see here we're very close to s0 potentially making a pullback to pivot or to the cloud and then i would be selling again or the pivots needs to to move so that's gbp chf analysis and i saw some questions about this pair and i hope that this um, um i hope that this is this is helping gbp chf and we were GBP USD. So let's see, we have 15 minutes to go, guys. I'm going over all the other pairs, but I hope this was really useful information. One trade went yesterday uh, not to take profit two. I think it was an AUD pair, but it went to take profit one, move stop loss to break even when it hit take profit one, and then the second trade went to break even. I really hope you guys appreciate the information of this uh, of this call. We've been done 40 minutes, um, and it's not always just copy pasting the trades, right? Cat TPY also, as you like, this is the interesting part, guys. It did not really touch back on the on the line, but you see here, it went down to S1, made a little pullback, not all the way back. After that, it broke. It's on S2, little pullback came down it's in a minus one minus one and a half levels right now and probably whole pivots will update here pretty soon it's it's in that undersold level uh works great with indices us 30 nas 100 guys i'm really happy to say that uh us U, uh, gbp usd i just checked nzd cat is in buying mode uptrend for a while uh, which would be nice if it's crossing pivots and crossing the cloud we can go up for 13 pips so NCD cat is a little option I also got a tip uh, on whatsapp actually just want to go over the list uh, I have a euro cat and an AUD NZD tip but we are going to go over them I think very soon but thanks Jan from Belgium and thanks um, to, 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 thanks uh, uh, who messaged me AUD NZD ah James AUD NZD and Eurocat, two two good ideas. But let's let's go Euro AUD oversold. Sorry, overbought on the high side here. So that's not something Euro AUD NZD CHF. Am I trading today? Yes. If there is anything specific to trade right now, NZD CHF too low. Euro CHF dropping and just making that pullback back to S2. Now that's an interesting one because it didn't touch S0 yet. So this is a trade that if it's not too small, because this is just 10 pips, right? 10, 12 pips. This is a trade that it will go to S2 now and about. It already had a wick there. We are red, downwards major line, 
so green but downwards continuing to become red and a red entry so that's a sell um, and this is a trade that's gonna go down uh, for about 11 pips uh, it's pretty small and it's still green candle so I would like to wait for this one to uh, become uh, become real so euro CHF what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check if I can let me just check if I can do this uh, okay euro CHF I'm just gonna keep this one open here because we we might we might want to sell this uh, in a bit keep an eye for me on it keep an eye on it for me I need a red candle And the DJPY So you see a lot of those pairs are currently switching trend, right? They were going up for a while, they were going down for a while and they are switching trends right now. Uh, which means that we just need to have patience for two or three days and then when the new trend comes along we can sell it for a while or we can buy it for a while. Like the opposite that we have been doing. Um, so I, I guess next week is going to be so easy. Next week is going to be so easy. And so the USD. So one of the other updates that we will have is that you can see on which pair you are. Uh, what was the last one. And probably also that it's... Uh, uh, I need to double check because I think at this moment it's filtered on the last pivot shift is on top. I personally like that way more than uh, alphabetical. Because alphabetical is just like, yeah, okay, sounds cool, like a dictionary. But um, we want to have certain trading data, right? So if the pair is on top, as far as I know at this moment in the filter, it means that it got the latest pivot update. And, and that's just nice if you're trading during the day that you only have to keep checking the top five, right? Because if you every half an hour, hour check the top five, you know if there's changes. If something jumped into the top five, then you know that there was a change. So I, I, I'm going to request actually for Infinity to keep it like that. Uh, but I want to double check before telling you guys that that's the, that, that's the truth. Euro USD has been climbing. Um, it's under the cloud right now, but if it comes out here, uh, you have a chance of uh, taking about 30 pips from R6 to R8. So that's that's really really nice. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys that as a hope. I'm gonna give you guys that as a pending order that if it comes out of the cloud we are going to take that one wow that's an old song uh... buy stop euro usd at r6 which is one dot 13831 take profit uh, probably just uh, take a 15 pips TP1 uh, 1.13983 which is the R7 level and then uh, 28 pips TP2 14136 which is the R8 level. Guys, I, w I want you guys to start understanding also those levels more and more. Uh, major line uh, is, uh, is here below, so that's our trend stop loss. So our trend stop loss is about 1.124.1881. And the daily, 
it's gonna be the daily low so you can check the daily low plus one pivot level so this is the s2 it only wick there so you can use the s2 as a daily or you can use the s1 as a daily uh, i'm gonna i'm mostly going for safe so i'm gonna use s1 or you can even use a little bit below s s0 for a stop loss guys there are so much places where you can put a stop loss based on what you want to risk all right so i'm gonna do daily low plus one which is the S1 level for now um, as my daily stop loss advice but everybody can can make their own own choices there all right and please do so and please do so so this is the buy stop for the euro USD it's like when the price comes up above the cloud we are going one take profit one and we are gonna take profit two now I hope that uh, someone has been watching this pair for us uh, it's still like it went a little bit more to s2 um, but this is very small right so we we, have, we are looking to euro chf for a straight entry but it's about eight pips from now and i like to see sell like really going to s2 and sell it from there so um, what you can do, but I don't like it, is a uh, sell limit. So when the price hits S2, you jump into the sell to S0. So it's called a sell limit. Now I'm personally only using buy stops and sell stops. I don't like the buy limits and the sell limits because if it spikes through and it goes further up, I want to find a better entry point for myself. Maybe it goes all the way back to S3 and I want to take this trade, it's 5 pips more and I don't have the drawdown, so I don't like limits if you want it, you can take it as a limit from S2 to the bottom take profit, or you just wait so so this is not something we are doing right now so Euro USD is a trade that I like to look into Um, also sending a message to the programmers very quickly ah okay I also I see that that's also gone on Okay, let's see guys, we are going to have a little bit longer session today it looks like, but going to finish up Euro USD, we are almost at the bottom of the list, we have at least one buy stop, happy with that one, uh, USD cut not in the right place.
uh, the color of the cloud is just giving you information guys uh, when when a price if you want to buy something and uh, all the three lines are green and it's above the cloud even though it's a red cloud you it, it is okay of course uh, if the future cloud is green it gives you an idea of more volume so all of this stuff is coming uh, in the videos I think we are getting the update for Pivot right for Infinity right now because I don't see the Infinity at this moment. Let me try to reload. I told them uh, we would be finished by now with the session. Uh, AUD USD CAD. Let me just quickly go over those last parts. Already in the bottom, USDC HF, like that. Okay. This is nice, guys. Look, pullback, red, 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 under the cloud. Need to zoom in to see that this entry line is already pointing downwards, which is good. Uh, I probably still will take a pending order here because we can go 12. So this is probably 15 and 30, 15 and 30, yes. So what we are going to do is we're going to take a pending order here as well. From Pivot to S2. And from S2 to Support Zero. Sell stop on USD CHF 94299 pivot level. And 15 pips TP1 94147 30 pips TP2 0.93994. Daily stop loss is gonna be on the minor line 0 0.94877 and the trend stop loss is gonna be bigger. Zero dot nine five six seventy seven. Make sure that your trend stop loss is never. Um, make sure that it's never bigger than two hundred pips. It's nice protection of your account if it's two hundred pips. If you trade no bigger than USD, why is this? Let me check. Why is this going out? Okay. So basically, make sure that it's never uh, that it's never bigger than than 200. Uh, do I did I do something wrong here? Nine four eight seven seven. Why does people say please check your buy stop trend stop loss? Uh, what's wrong there? I don't think it's not wrong. So guys, this is gonna be a sell arrow soon, all right? If this entry line turns red while the price is under the cloud, you're gonna get a sell arrow. So it's gonna show you a really nice sell, sell block. It's gonna even have the word sell on it. This is gonna this is gonna happen soon. It's absolutely gonna happen. It's less than my daily stop loss. Daily stop loss. It's a buy stop. 
Yeah, of course, because oh. we are buying. So the trend stop, the trend stop loss is lower. Trend stop loss. Uh, what are you guys talking about? No, it's not. It's nine five six seven seven. It's correct, guys. It's correct. Numbers are correct. Uh, someone is asking if I can post them in the chat. Yes, of course. Of course we can. Okay. You see here, price is coming down. Um, so I don't know if we missed this opportunity, but uh, on Euro CHF, I told you guys, check it for me. Uh, but it was very small. This is a very, very small trade. So basically you could have sold from we set it about somewhere here to here for about 10 pips but um it's also not there yet maybe some people took it this these are my two pending orders for now uh, i'm going to very quickly finish this list cat chf is going to be a sell we can go straight in oh that's nice that's a good finishing that's a nice finishing of the session. So we are gonna go in here for 12 pips first. So I'm selling. Selling means straight, right? Cat CHF. Um, and I'm going for 12 pips TP1, which is 0 0.69885. Cat CHF, and I'm going for six nine eight eight five. That's that's the first one now, and then we're gonna see what our second take profit will be. So we can do about thirty, or we can go all the way for forty three. It will go there. It might take a little bit longer. Most important is that you have. Your stop loss in break even after TP1, right? So we can go 30 and then 42, or we can go straight 42. So let me write 42 pips. No, let, let's do all of them. 32 pips, TP2. Was it 42? TP3. 69580. 69. 733. This way you can just figure out yourself how deep you want to go. 26 and what is this? 27? 20, 27 and 42. 27 and 42. That's, that's it. So I'm gonna take it, but I personally took already half of my lot size, so I can't go for take profit two and three. So I need to make a decision right now, am I going for take profit two with my second trade, or am I going for take profit three with my second trade? So I'm going for take profit three with my second trade, which means at 27 pips I can put an alert for myself, I can, uh, I can say like, hey boss, you are on this 27, 30 pips level, do you maybe just wanna go out? So it doesn't mean I will ride it all the way to take profit three. I probably will because I have an insanely busy day. Uh, but we also have multiple uh, trade sessions today with different teams from the UK, from Canada. So um, yeah, basically that, that gives me opportunity to, to look into the other trades. What I also sometimes do, I'm just taking as, uh, I will do it right now as well. I'm just taking a 0 0.01 to 6.9, 733 because if I do that it just gives me an alert bus your take profit 2 is reached so a uh, meta trader can give you alerts when there's trade activity on your account it's very easy to set up and um, that's something that I really like to do now I will give you guys the stop losses which basically are the same because you see here the major and the minor trend are both there so there's just one stop loss daily stop loss and trend stop loss 
is 0 0.7801 and that's it that is concluding our session of today I am going to give this list to you guys and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this session it was way longer than normal and I have no problem with that I am really happy I really hope that this was a useful session for you guys I'm gonna mark it as a favorite session because I liked it myself um, with the feedback from you guys and being able like the way of getting information out of an educator guys is very very simple ask questions and they will be a load of information so um, that's 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 what I love to do these are the trades for today um, I will have more trades guys make sure please make sure that you are following me on pip talk I'm going to it keeps doing auto scrolling I'm going to put my message on pip, the pip talks and I'm going to do the infinity trading view and the infinity pool tool these are the three uh, three very important links guys uh, and I'm, I'm really able to uh, I'm really happy to do it the trade trading plan a lot of people are asking about trading plan um, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, make a trading plan in Excel and upload it in on the Infinity, um, what it's called, Infinity Traders Facebook. All right, uh, I'm going to do that. Someone says unblock Austin. I can't unblock, guys. I can only block, as far as I know. Let me. I don't see Austin as a username, guys. So I, I didn't block Austin. Maybe he's blocked by another educator. I'm, I'm very, very rarely blocking people. I just blocked two people that were really putting the same message like 60 times in the chat. The Facebook group is just called Infinity Traders, guys, and um, it's really, really good if you guys are there. I'm going to round up the session. I want to thank you guys so much. In 45 minutes, I will do a London Daybreak session, but it's in Dutch language on my Dutch channel. Um, I'm going to make a decision over the weekend what we do with the London Daybreak. Um, because I might just want to really focus on the infinity tool for everybody but then I will do Dutch infinity sessions guys so don't worry you're not gonna be left alone uh, definitely gonna make time for the Dutch community but maybe London Daybreak isn't the, uh, it, it's a great strategy I'm, I'm using it since June uh, it's kind of one of my kind of more signature traits but of course it's just a breakout strategy anybody can come up with that um, um, I think I might want to go fully focused on Infinity's trading strategy and doing more sessions, including Dutch sessions uh, for Infinity. So, um, yeah, I'm going to come back about that. But today, in 45 minutes, we still have a London Daybreak session. And um, uh, I want to thank you all for joining today. And I hope to see you guys on the next session in Dutch today or on the next last session of this week tomorrow morning 1 30 a.m eastern standard time uh, 6 30 a.m uk time see you guys bye bye